we need to have a broad set of judgments so that we understand what good search looks like. Uh, and so in this video, we're going to talk about how to use one of the uh, components of Chorus, uh, Cupid, to gather search relevance queries. Now, typically, you're going to start out with a broad set of queries. And here we've identified 125 queries. In the real world, you would be taking these from your query logs. You'd be looking at zero results found, the queries that drive the most revenue, you know, you know get sourcing these queries from different areas. However, for Chorus Electronics, we just kind of came up with them. And so we have a long list of these queries. And in this video, we're going to take a subset of these queries, the first 10, and we're going to go ahead and load them into Cupid and build a judgment list, which lets us measure how good our search algorithm is. So here we're going to create our very first case, and we're going to call it um, baseline judgments. And we're going to point it at our Chorus uh, Solar Search Engine. Make sure it's there. Yep. And then we're going to go ahead and do the same configuration as we did in previous katas. So title, ID, um, and then a thumbnail image, the name of the product, branding, and product type. Now, instead of adding the queries here, I'm actually going to show you a little bit of an Easter egg feature, which is instead, we'll come back to our list, go ahead and highlight all those queries, control C, bring up Cupid, and if you paste a return delimited list of queries in there, we load all of those queries at once. So here we go. Now, looking here at Cupid, We've loaded 10 different queries, and you can see we've got lots of search results back. Now, what do this little frog icon mean? Well, what this frog tells us is that we need to hop to it. There are unrated results, so we're going to work on. Now, as we briefly covered, we're using a four-point scale from 0 to 3 to measure our search. And if I bring it up here, right, poor, fair, good, and perfect. A perfect is this is exactly the product I'm looking for. And a poor would be a product that makes me angry. Now, before we get into judging, we actually have to think about what is the user trying to accomplish with these, right? They're, they have different goals. They have different objectives. And we call that the information need. So in the case of a Bluetooth speaker, what are we thinking? Thinking, and I'm going to go ahead and write it down. Information need. A device for playing music out loud over that connects via Bluetooth. And I can go ahead and save this note. And this means that the next person who comes along will understand kind of what the thinking was when we were judging these documents. So I'll go ahead and save that. And I'll work my way down through all of these saying what was the information need. Yes, this is the kind of boring eat your vegetables part of relevancy tuning. But without that, you know, Later on, different people may look at these queries and have wildly different understandings, or we may identify that there are queries that we just don't know enough to do accurate human rating. So now, once I've got all my information needs documented, right, now it's time to go and rate these documents. We're using a zero to three scale, and my colleague Max has written up a great best practices using the Chorus data set, right, that describes what a three, a two, a one, and a zero is on this graded rating. A three would be the perfect result, and a zero is a terrible result. 
highly recommend you go through this document, kind of learn it to sort of understand what we're looking for. And there's some great examples in here from the course data set. So let's go ahead and get some ratings. So I'm looking at this uh, uh, first one, right? And if I need to remember, I can go look at my information need, right? Device playing music out loud that connects via Bluetooth. And hey, this is a great result. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Yep, this is another really great result. So a third one, slightly different color, great result. HP flat panel speaker bar monitor mm, no not at all that's terrible bluetooth laser mouse also not good oh the, here's an interesting one an lg portable speaker white but it doesn't say bluetooth so i mean it's maybe a one right uh, Bluetooth printer, right? We're obviously matching. We can see over here on the right on this Bluetooth word, but that's not at all what I'm looking for. And this is a common problem, right? That, uh, you know, our recall net is way too broad and our precision is not there. Speaker bar, definitely not what we're looking for. So then I've gone through and I've rated this query. Now I can move to the next one. Surround sound speaker, reminder, Speakers are for the home that give me great sound. Ah, speaker set 5.1. I know that 5.1 channels is kind of a surround sound one. So I'm going to give that a perfect result. In-ear headphones. Nope, not at all what I'm looking for. PCI sound interface. Nope, not what I'm looking for. Hmm, multimedia speaker 2.0. I don't know. I'm going to give it a good. It's it's related. It's not quite. And now I'm going to continue doing that process, working my way through my list of 10 queries. And now we've got our judgments for this set of data. And now we can use that to start measuring our search, right? Our baseline algorithm is DCG at 10, giving us a 15.31, right? And we can start looking at improving that, right? This is just 10 queries. And what about when we want to do a broad set of, you know, more than just the top 10 queries where we want to do all the rest? In the next video, we're going to talk about how you can leverage third-party firms uh, to outsource some of this judgment work. Now that we've learned, uh, uh, judged a subset of our data.